Hi there, this is Alessandro and I'm in Lake of Zurich in Switzerland and I'm kind of surrounded by chicken and finally today I'm going to introduce you to some more advanced stuff related to quantum computing, more specifically something that can be useful uh, for optimization. But before that I, I need to explain you how to access the other quantum cloud uh, infrastructure that can, can be used for this. First of all, uh, just a reminder, so far we've seen the, uh, some structures, related, some infrastructure that are classical quantum gate based computers. So they try to simulate the, how the classical computer works and they are made of like uh, with circuits. While instead, the other computer that we are going to use today, that is quantum annealers, they are more specific for optimization. They serve different purpose in the sense that these quantum annealers are more specific to find uh, solutions like for optimizing parameters or solving NP uh, complex uh, uh, problems and, but, and they are not generally purpose while on the other way around quantum gate based computers are more they I aim to be at least uh, more useful for the general purpose and to replace classical computers but they will not be uh, perfect for optimizations. So in the way I'm doing, even if I'm uh, at the lake to show you how it works, so I do, I use the cell phone as a hotspot and I will start uh, coding on my laptop with internet on this phone, just to show you that you can access these things from wherever you are and you don't need to be. Obviously it's better if you are in, at your university. So let's start and as was for the Qiskit and the IBM quantum computers, you need first to install some libraries and to get some kind of access. Let's start with that. So I had to move to Tiefenbrunnen because on the other side the sun was disappearing. The most popular uh, quantum computer is the, uh, for quantum annealing is D-Wave, which you can use either uh, the dashboard like, like uh, Qiskit or this uh, also like Qiskit uh, and they being come to computer you can install this library so let's do it because it's a bit different environment like writing Python 3 VAMB Ocean and then access activated like as source ocean slash bean activate and at this point you have to install the library so pip install the wave ocean uh, minus sdk then what you have to do like you we did in the previous lecture with the uh, kiskit you have to uh, take your token specific of your account so they need to track who you are and once you have done this, then you have to run the D-Wave setup. Uh, this is because some parts are not completely open source, so they have to install, be installed in a particular way. You can start complaining that they, why don't they put everything as a open source or, I mean, but at the moment they are, the, they had, they are kind of recovering a lot of expenses in research, so I will not start complaining that it's not everything open source. So anyway, to install it, you write D-Wave setup and then call it broad. Uh, at this point, you have to copy the, the token, as I was saying, that is located in cloud.dwaves.com. You copy the token. And these other things you can also do skip skip. Now that you have installed the library in your local machine to be then connected to the wave, which is most likely being uh, most likely be uh, located in Canada, we can open the Jupyter account and 
One thing you can do with, uh, that is particularly good with uh, quantum analysis is to find a solution of, through optimization problem, of optimization problems, like, uh, for example, partitioning a graph. And partitioning a graph is kind of mm, useful in many fields, like, for example, uh, even in neuroscience, that when you, if you represent the brain uh, network, so you need you, it, there's a specific task of problems where it's useful to uh, define specific uh, clusters in in the brain networks, or if you are some doing other stuff related to computational biology, where you represent uh, molecules uh, uh, connected as a graph. And you, therefore, you, it's, mm, other things that are, are known from graph theory are particularly useful uh, in this kind of context. Now, so in this case, I'm showing you one optimization we can do on the D-Wave for quantum annealing related to uh, graph theory. What I have to do is that I have to import the necessary packages, like for example, import network x as an x which is a library that is used for, um, graph, for graph theory, it's not specific for uh, quantum computers, it can be used in many fields. And then I import some stuff related to graph theory from the wave. Uh, some swans, they are really annoying. <coughs> so from the wave networks as DNX. And then I have to import some, uh, some solvers and some other kind of embedding that allows me to send back and forth data through the quantum annealer from my computer. So from the way dot system dot samplers import the wave sampler and from the wave dot system composites import embedding composite okay and now I have to define the, the sampler as sampler embedding composites D wave sampler top, top. At this point, this is the part which is not specific for quantum, but which is graph theory. So create the graph, a general empty graph. So G equals NX dot graph parentheses. And then I configure the graph with some arbitrary connection edges. So I do G add add edges from and for example, I write this like one to two, one to three, two, three, three, four, three, five, four, five, four, six, four, six, six, seven. And I close this. Now let's solve this. Um, let's partition this graph and find the, the independent set in this. So, for example, S equals, but at this point I'm using the library for the wave. DNX maximum independent set G sampler my sampler, the sampler actually. And let's visualize, we can see with print s, we can see the contents. And we can also mm, visual, visualize it graphically. So I can see that g extract subgraph Notes list of G nodes uh, set S and 
And if I want also, I can NX bring layout to see the entire thing. Bigger. NX, row, G, boss, boss. And NX, row, G, boss, K, okay, boss, boss. NX, row, order, subgraph, boss. Pulse. Not a color. B. PLT dot show. So this uh, um, this is a simple task still, but it's already on the direction of a practical application that we can use with. Uh, quantum solvers that they will take much longer if you were not using a quantum computer. Optimization is present in many things, for example, in uh, when you are fine-tuning some parameters for machine learning, when you are finding the minimum of some problem, like in this case, when you are uh, something related to drug design, something related to, um, in this case, network segmentations. So, and this, you already can start seeing the power, the advantage of using a, a quantum computer. And if you have uh, questions, comments, suggestions, please write below and see you next time.